there is a cool new large multi model model called as lava which stands for large language and vision assistant so this makes use of something called visual instruction tuning let's look into a demo of what it is and then let's come back into the details okay so what i did was i uploaded this picture over here and i asked who are present in this image so it says the image features six men each of whom is a well known tech entrepreneur or businessman which is accurate then i asked it can you name them so it identifies elon musk jeff bezos bill gates is not present in the image mark zuckerberg is present in the image steve jobs is not present in the image tim cook is present so it is not identified satya nadella and sundar pichai again i ask like is sundar pichai present in the image it says no sundar pichai is not present in the image the image only features the six men listed above so it's not very accurate per se but then i am quite impressed with this response alone okay it is missed out two people over here but it still could identify the other people right so maybe we can try out another image uh, let's see okay yeah let's try out this image and see uh, maybe i should clear yeah let me clear it and let's try out another image okay let's try out this image and i'll say explain this meme explain the meme in the image send i think it will take some time for the response in the meanwhile we go back and look into what is lava okay so lava is a novel end to end trained large multi model model it combines a vision encoder and vicuna for general purpose visual and language understanding it achieves impressive chat capabilities mimicking spirits of the multi model gpt4 okay and sorta on science qa that is what they are saying over here so they have the paper over here also right so if you go into the paper and look at it uh, you know uh, this is where how it performs across various benchmarks right it is performing better than all the other models over here like instruct blip blip to quen vl chat okay these are the other multi model models okay so the architecture is it makes use of a vision encoder and vision language connector mlp and a language model which is vicuna over here right to do this multi model tasks okay and the final model is 13 billion uh, you know 13 billion parameters it is trained on 1.2 million publicly available data right and finishes full training in a day on a single 8 a100 node okay and uh, it achieves sort on 11 benchmarks so that is what they are saying over here right so it's quite uh, interesting um, they have done the comparison with other models as well and uh, you know they have created something called as multi model instruction following data right so that is what um, they describe over here uh, now if you come back and see uh, it is still processing okay so it over here it says that the image is a meme featuring scooby do a popular uh, cartoon character holding up a sign that says ai the meme is a, a play on the famous scene from the cartoon would unmask a villain by pulling s humorously suggesting that ai is the real villain scooby do is trying to unmask the meme is a create that ai can be perceived as a mysterious or hidden force in a modern society okay i don't really fully agree with this because the whole idea is that uh, you know ai is typically you have if then rules inside and you know it is marketed as ai that's the whole point of this meme but still uh, i am quite okay with this explanation over here right not the explanation which i expected so this is the demo of lava large language model and vision assistant okay now going back to the paper over here let's see if we can get some more details okay this is about the performance which we discussed they say it is open source we make gpt4 generated visual instruction tuning data or model and code base publicly available okay that's what they have written over here 
Um, so here are some details on the multi-model instruction following data. Okay, so based on the Coco data set, uh, they made use of language only GPT-4 and collected 158k unique language instruction following samples. That is what they are written over here. Okay, the data set is available on Hugging Face. Right, uh, so it could be conversation kind of uh, data set. Uh, it could be detailed description. Uh, it could be complex reasoning. Okay. So in the Lava Large Language and Visual Assistant, there are two stages. The first stage is, you know, you are feature alignment stage uh, and then you have fine tuning end to end. So basically you have a vision encoder, which is your clip VIT. Large language model is Vikuna. So between that you have a projection layer to align the image features with along with the language instruction. Right, you have the image features are projected and aligned along with the language features coming from the language instruction, which is together given as tokens to your or features to your uh, large language model, which is Vikuna to get the language response. That is the idea over here. And they have talked about performance. Okay, and some examples of OCR uh, over here, some examples of, you know, who drew this painting. Mona Lisa and uh, you know the painting depicts a woman commonly believed to be Mona Lisa so basically they are explaining that okay so the further details are present in the paper right and here in the paper they have done some comparisons also for example uh, giving this particular input as an example they have asked like are there factual errors in the question point it out if no proceed answering the question what is happening in the desert okay there is no desert so GPT-4 with vision say that I cannot answer because there is no desert over here. Whereas Lava says there is a city skyline with buildings. The scene is set in a desert which is unusual for a beach setting. Okay. So Lava can detect and answer tricky questions when prompted to verify the question. This was original Lava. Now the latest version Lava 1.5 which is further improved says that there are no deserts in the image. The image features a beach with palm trees. City skyline basically it explains this image whereas GPT-4 is not you know it directly says that there is no desert so I cannot answer anything more okay here is another example visual input uh, example constraint JSON output so basically given this input you have to get a JSON format as output that is the user request and here is GPT-4v uh, GPT-4 with vision here is the output of that right and then here is an output from Lava V1.5. Okay. Um, so here it says that Lava V1.5 uh, has few errors compared to GPT-4 vision over here. Okay. For example, donor veteran, it pulls out over here. Whereas here it says donor is NA. Yeah. Okay. And then any other errors which we can see over here. 831 CU, this uh, expiry is 831 2014. Okay, that is fine. Uh, date of birth is also fine over here. No, uh, I'm just seeing where is it date of birth? Is it present over here? Yes, 831-1977. I think those details are present over here. I'm looking at what is the type of errors. Maybe this donor uh, error is there, NA. Maybe that's an error. Any other errors which are there? Uh, donor becomes veteran. Uh, okay, here it is BR and hair, BR, okay. So the extraction is not happening properly with GPT-4 vision. That is the idea. Okay. So this model is available on Hugging Face. You can check it out. And uh, here they are saying that, okay, because Vikuna is based on Lama. Uh, so the license is actually under Lama 2 license. Okay. So it cannot be really used for commercial purposes. It can be only used for uh, research purposes. That is the idea over here. So yeah, so when they are saying open source over here, it is not really open source. It is possibly open access. Yeah, so this was a short, uh, you know, uh, description or uh, introduction to Lava, a large language and uh, vision assistant multi-model model. I'll be putting all the links in the description of the video. You can check it out. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.